Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Saturday the 25th of February. I want to use the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for this reading. So let me show you some of these cards before I choose three, although this one has just jumped out so that's staying there. That's what I always think Prince Charming would look like in the stories. I think it's really well done here. Like the romance of it, you know? Okay, so let me pick three cards or two more actually. Okay, first I've got, oh, there he is, the Knight of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so that's immediately, I think there's an opportunity for Prince Charming to appear in your life. Or Princess Charming. The knights are really, can be either gender. That's the feeling I get, that there's a real potential for a new love and um, the beginning of a new romance. But it's interesting because we've got three cards in the suit of pentacles. And pentacles is the element of earth. It has to do with work. It has to do with money. It has to do with what you treasure, what you hold dear, what you want to build and create. Anything to do with the physical body, your environment, your circumstances. The seven of pentacles is kind of taking stock of how far you've come, how much work you've done already, and really being able to take a moment to look at that and to kind of process it or to look at it objectively and to give the self a kind of pat on the back. So it's a, it feels like a break, a respite from hard work. Then the Knight of Pentacles is usually someone who is unreliable when it comes to uh, the appearances he makes. Sometimes he's expected to to intervene or to participate or engage and he's absent he just doesn't act so action versus inaction is a big kind of question for him and when is the right time to act and to be certain and to build and when is the right time to hold back so the knight of pentacles is somewhat indecisive he's unreliable but he is able to achieve great things in a practical sense. So he's the kind of, you know, maverick who does a startup in his business and it turns into, you know, a giant corporation years later. So because he's kind of wild when it comes to the element, he can build things which are just beyond any expectations, something really solid and huge. And then the flip side of that is that sometimes he just doesn't show up. So with that, um, you have a kind of respite from work, or at least a sense of, do you know what? I have worked hard. I have created all this security for myself. I get to reflect on that, or I get a little bit of time off. I get to put the kind of spade down for a second and just relax. Then this, the, the potential for something really creative to appear. He's got all this red on and the armor. So he's expecting negativity and red is the physical world. So he's able to bulldoze his way through things when he is taking action like no one else. He's massively successful. So it's almost like you're being given a moment to kind of realize where you are in terms of your position in life, like what you've worked for, um, how you live, what your current job is, what the plans are for the future. And with the Knight of Pentacles, it's not just romance and new relationships, but I really think in terms of the characteristic that appears, you're able to visualize and really see this huge castle in the sky kind of dream that you want to create for your own life. The Six of Pentacles is the haves and haves not card. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. So when you're up, it makes sense to give, to maintain balance. And when you're down, 
it's important to accept help to maintain balance. And again, we've got all this red, so it's about the physical world. And the sixth card in the suit of pentacles is about an opportunity to build something new, to, to make a fresh start with something. So I think the cards are saying that you've got a little bit of time for yourself. And it's a great opportunity to really build a hugely significant relationship in your life, or it, they are signaling the start of a hugely significant relationship, or it's really time to build your dream in a real world sense. Wow, okay. Um, let's see, anything else about the Six of Pentacles? Balance. That, it's interesting because that, that kind of reminds me of the Temperance card, the Libra scales here. Why maintain balance? Like if I'm up and I, and I give or I'm down and I'm... Why should things be balanced? It's because the balance internally and in your actual life is what allows you to kind of pursue enlightenment and these higher ideals. The thing about pentacles in astrology, all the earth signs they oppose are the water signs. So it's the physical world and the spiritual world. And I always find that in terms of pentacles, it's not about being super wealthy or creating things that you don't really need. It's simply having enough, you know, so that when you go to the shop, you don't have to count every penny in your wallet. It's just being able to buy what you need. And then you're able to pursue some of these spiritual, emotional things. And here we've got three cards in the suit of pentacles. So to build the thing that's going to provide that, that foundation and structure and security in your life, you're able to do that. And then the relationship side of things, in a practical sense, the relationship then being so solid that it presents itself as home. And the other thing about the this suit is that it is very consistent. It's not going anywhere. It can be picked up and put down every day of your life. So the fact that we've got three pentacle cards here, if there's anything that needs changing in your life, today is the day to look at doing that, to take the action steps, to, to do the legwork. Okay, number-wise, we've got seven and one is eight. Eight and six is 14. One and four is five. And five in numerology is freedom. So the freedom to do something that you actually love and enjoy doing. The freedom to start something new. And then freedom from financial restrictions and um, oppression almost. And the ability to create something on your own. Okay, so if you're frustrated in a job you don't like, this is the, and you've been thinking particularly about going self employed, this is a great day to really look at that and to make a start. To put the website up, to advertise, whatever it may be. Okay, so I hope that gives you an idea of what this day's energy is all about. I hope you have a wonderful time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.